Hello people, this is my review video for my new tripod. Right now I have no tripod, so I'm holding my camera. There we go, opening box review. Okay, so this is it. I have the box upside down. This is outside the box, probably what you see in store. Top of the box. Okay, let's open it. So I have to do this by one hand. And this is why I have the tripod for. Get this out. And off of you. Box. Okay. I'm actually looking for the zipper with my hand. It's kind of creepy touching it like this. <laughs> Here we go. So let's do this. Alright. Multitask it. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, I've got a knob. So, I guess it's pronounced Menfoto? Menfoto. Tripod. I'm excited, can't wait to use it, so I don't have to hold this camera anymore. So what else is in the bag? Yeah, I'm gonna read this later. So this piece goes onto the camera, or oh, camcorder, um, video camera in this case. Anything else? That's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so pretty simple. It's only like what three pieces, about four pieces, two knobs, and two knobs, and just for and this part that goes to the camera. Tie this up. And this is the tripod. Wait a minute. Oh, there's two of them. Interesting. So I guess that's the spare. This is the spare camera platform. I don't know what it's called. I'm new to recording, so <laughs> forgive me if you're a photographer and then think I'm an idiot. I'm, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is a little balancing bow here. You can balance it, balance your tripod with this. The idea is you want to get that bubble into the circle. Yeah, you get the idea. Um, yeah. It's a quick release mechanism, which I haven't figured out how to use. Eh. I need two hands for this. Okay, so open the drive one. That's pretty much it. Um, the legs doesn't have the outdoor it doesn't have the outdoor pin mechanism. I don't know. I don't think I need that, so I didn't really mind it when I bought this. Most of the tripod I had before had like a little uh, metal part that stick out, so you can pin it outside in the grass. Okay, so box. Um, so this is a MK two nine four KIT. A aluminum tripod kit with professional freeway head. It's ideal for camera, um, professional camera, and video concorder. Yay! Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna read the manual, so I'm just gonna look at the box. I don't like manuals. There we go. 
So the spats are maximum high is a 71.3 inches. I think that might be taller than me. Yeah, it's taller than me. And maximum high without center colon. Well, you can read this. So it weighs about six pounds. It can carry up to 11 pounds of weight. And that's like knobs that you can. You can pretty much turn it into any angle you want. So let's see. One, two, three. Okay, there's three switch mechanisms. First one goes out like this, up and down, and then left and right. Here on the middle side. Um, there's a knob hole, so let's plug in one of the knobs and see what happens. I think they're both the same. I think they're both the same. Yeah, they're the same. Same knobs. So I get a spare one. Okay, so that's the one mechanism. It goes uh, up and down, and there's a hole for the knob. Who needs a menu? You're just plugging whatever part I fit, right? <laughs> but seriously, though, you should probably read your menu. I just, I'm lazy. Ah, okay. So, up and down. Moving the camera up and down. Well, phone and bag actually, not up and down. Ventral and dorsal. I don't know if photographer used that word. So moving the camera, ventral and dorsal. And second knob. Then move left and right. Camera left and right. Left, right. Okay. And the knob secures it in what, 360 view. Okay, so first, let's see if we're recording that chair. Ignore the mess in the back. I'm, I'm in the process of moving, so it's, that's why all the junk's all over the place. Okay, anyway, so 360 first knob securing the angle. Then second knob elevated next to the chair. Imagine there's a ghost camera here, and the knob move. See how high you want it to be from the chair. And as always, as always, the little bow thingy balancer that's inside building the tripod. Almost like every tripod has it, even if you buy like a $20 tripod. Uh, this tripod cost me almost $150, so my logic is uh, if I'm spending money on a tripod and I'm probably gonna end up spending $60 on an average tripod, why don't you go like double that price and get a nice tripod that you can always use. There is also an... Um, it tells you how many degrees you're turning the first... well, one, two, three, the dirt knob, the base knob, let's, let's name it base knob. Again, I'm not a photographer, I have no idea what I'm talking about, so the base knob has degree... you get to see how many degrees that you move, and... I think the other knobs has the similar thing going on. Okay, yeah, there we go. Every knob apparently, okay. Wherever you turn, there is a degree mark that tells you where you turn, and there's a little arrow here. You see where you turn the camera. Almost on every single knob. Uh, except this one. This one doesn't have anything. Oh, so the product is made in Italy. Sure. It's made in Italy. Okay, now I just need to figure out how to do this quick release thing. Eh. Probably need a new in the menu. I'm back. Uh, figured out how to use... Okay, I'm back. Figured out how to use this thing. Again, without reading the menu, because I'm lazy. Um... I don't know if I like it, because what happened is you have to use one hand or maybe two hands at least. One hand you press here, this switch down, and then you press this one. And one so you press this down and then you can move this 
It's made of metal, by the way, so it's very nice quality metal. And then this thing pops open. And when you want to put it back, once you screw this onto a camera, that's less than 11 pounds. That's less than 11 pounds. And then you just press this in and it click. It just click on its own because this thing is like a spring. And this, this has a spring, so when you move this, it has some resistance. Spring. Okay. So you put it in. And you press down for your camera. And you move, well, you press, you put it down. Once you put the camera, you place it down to here. You release this magnet and the spring will spring back up. And you're locked. That's it. Uh, the part I didn't like is that how when you, you well for one thing you need two hands to do this, one here, if you use one hand be very careful and when I first did this, I think I pressed too hard, this thing just pops open, <laughs> it flies off on the tripod, um, probably don't have a problem if you have a camera holding it down, but imagine if you have a really small camera that's pretty light and you have a really funny angle like I have right now, it's like diagonally, and you try to release with one hand and next thing you know like pop oops there goes the camera so when you release the mechanism i suggest you have your other hand holding the camera at all times ow and this thing can hurt your fingers when it bumps back you know it's like ow my finger yeah you get idea okay aside from that it's a nice tripod everything is well according to the box made in italy um metal part uh, just to show you well I don't have a magnet with me but trust me this is metal or very nice quality plastic this is metal that's very nice quality plastic uh, all the joints looks nice um, you can you have three knobs so you can pretty much have, do any angle you want the aluminum tripod legs it gets pretty long I haven't tried it, but I need a box 73 inches. Oh, I think it's gonna fit in the camera. Oh. So I like the magnetism so far, it's easy. Um, yeah, it's pretty long, I think. That's my leg for comparison. Nice feel to it, it feels expensive. Oh, I don't know if. Everybody know about this. Most photographers do, or amateur people like me. You can take this part off from a tripod. Okay. Ah, this uh, on this tripod, the base has a little knob thing, a hole, and you can put this back with a hole. But I'm just gonna keep this off because. What I usually do is uh, I flip over the camera sometimes. I'm not sure what short video. Okay, so let me get this shut off open. Okay, so it stands nicely. And I got this funny weird looking tag. Let's get this off first. Okay. Uh, oh, and also. I don't know what this thing do. I'll figure out later. Probably not important. This thing, I tried it in the store right now. I'm not gonna mess with it because I haven't. It's hard to turn. What you can do is once you turn this, you can adjust the angle of this individual legs and move it further out or closer in, and you can lock it back in. Yeah. But what I want to show you is. This okay, so this this thing, this knob, the small one, it locks in the central axle into the tripod. So if you loosen that, you see, loosen, turn that way, and this thing can come out, or you know, goes up. And what I usually want to do is, uh, I want to make my camera this way. See? So you, you slide it upside down. Up. Oh, it's really hard to do this with one hand. And you can hook out your camera. 
backwards. Yes. That could be good. I uh, made a little scratch. Oh, no scratch. I guess I scratched my floor. This thing is really solid, guys. <laughs> scratch my floor. Okay. Uh, Two hands. Turning this back. Okay, so now you can mount your camera backwards. Well, like to see little stuff. Again, I took this base off from the bottom end of it. Now it's on the top side. So this tripod now looks like this. And this is why. This is this is why I got a tripod. Um, if you wanted recording small stuff on the table, have this stable. That's how I use the tripod on the other side to shoot on micro scale stuff. I think the best part about this tripod is that, uh, well, that which is so, well, I'm gonna put this in the bottom and try to do this with one hand again without breaking anything. Okay, put it back. Okay. So I think what separates this thing from a regular tripod that you pay for $60 is how that you can This is a video tripod, you can adjust the view Imagine you have like a camera on top and you can easily turn anywhere you want and move it without readjusting too much Like this is, this is have some, this, you can adjust this with some resistance so This is a true video um, video tripod where you can easily move around without getting shattered or shakes when you're doing a video if you make this really loose you know, loose so. and you can just turn this very smoothly you might want to oil this after like you know 5-10 ten years I'm sure but right now it's brand new so it's you can do this very smoothly when you make a video, you wanna, you can turn and watch the people in your video, or whatever that moves. Okay, so that will be all. This is the review of my new tripod. Uh, this is extra quick. Well, I think that's the original one actually. So you have to get two of these, and that's it. One tripod. Three knobs, two of quick release mechanism thing that you put on the camera. That will be the end of my review, and you get a nice bag that goes with it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.